So you're looking to get more clicks and a higher click through rate inside your Google ads account. Well, look no further in this video. I'm going to show you multiple different ways to increase your click through rate so you can get a better quality score, so you can get a lower cost per click, so you can get more leads and have more account success. And that's really what everyone wants in Google ads. They want more success. They want more leads and they want more sales. Most importantly. Now, first off for people who don't know what a click through rate is in Google ads and are kind of new to Google ads, essentially what a click through rate is a percentage based off the number of times people actually click on your ads versus the number of times people see your ads. Meaning if 100 people see your ads and only five people click on them, you have a 5% click through rate because five people clicked on your ad out of the 100 people who saw it. It's pretty simple. Now 5% is a pretty decent click through rate in most industries. And really click through rate fluctuates through industries altogether. And I would really recommend checking out WordStream's click through rate analyzer blog post. This is absolutely amazing. And really, I think it's the only one out there that legitimately has statistics on multiple different industries. And these are the click through rates we actually follow for our industries. Again, every industry is different just based on your actual customer you're actually going to be going after. So it's really worth checking in on that and seeing where you are in that picture. Are you below the average? Are you above the average? Do we need to work on it? Do we not need to work on it? And that should give you a good idea on, okay, is this click through rate high enough for me? And if it's not, how do I get it above? And in this video, we're going to answer how we get it above the average click through rate. So once we figure out what our average click through rate is, again, check out that document, we may want to increase our click through rate. Now, why would we want to increase our click through rate? And click through rate is one of the main factors that determines quality score, you may not know this, but Google ads is based on an auction system. And essentially, they rank you on a scale of one to 10 on how good your ads are, how high your budget is and a whole bunch of other factors. Well, one of the most important factors is click through rate and expected click through rate what Google's AI thinks the likelihood of someone clicking on your ad is. And the higher we can make this click through rate, the higher our quality score is going to go. And the higher our quality score is going to go, the more likely Google is to show our ad. And essentially what they do is they give you a discount if it's really high. Way back when, essentially, if you had a five out of 10 on a quality score, you didn't get a bonus or you didn't get a discount, but you also didn't get docked any points. Now, if you have a four or three, Google would charge you more because they don't really like your ad. They know your customers don't find it as relevant. Now, if we have a click through rate of seven, eight, nine, or 10, Google's going to give us a slight discount. And again, Google's AI changes this every so often. So it's not perfect what I'm saying here, but it is pretty close to what they do. And this is what they did for a long time. They've recently switched it up a little bit, tweaked it. So not everyone knows exactly the discount you're getting if you have a super high quality score. But please bear in mind, you are getting some sort of discount and it is worth getting a higher quality score. And one of the ways we go about getting a higher quality score is getting a higher click through rate. Now I'm going to give you three different ways to increase your click through rate inside Google ads, and they all revolve around ads. Now, the first way to actually increase your click through rate is to A-B test your ads. And once you've built out your ad group, you should have three responsive search ads inside of your ad group or three call ads or whatever type of ads you're using, you'll have three of them. Essentially, you're going to get enough data into the account, we recommend at least 10 clicks and 100 impressions. That way you get a good idea of where your click through rate is. And you can make a pretty accurate assessment. Is it going to be perfect? No, but I'd rather good than perfect. Uh, in this case and scenario, because we don't want to run this ad indefinitely. Now, how we actually go about A-B testing these ads is pretty simple. One, Google will actually A-B test all these ads if we have enough headlines in it. And two, once we figure out that an ad really isn't that good, say we're aiming for a click-through rate of 5% and we have a click-through rate of 2%. If we look at our ads, we see the top ad has a 4% click-through rate. We see our middle ad has a 3% click-through rate and our bottom ad has a 2% click-through rate. What I would recommend doing is pausing the bottom ad that has 2%, taking the top ad, copying it out, and trying to build a new ad around that. We already know this ad is their best ad, so we want to tweak a few little things and try to improve it. And this process goes on essentially indefinitely as long as you have the account. And by doing this, you're going to consistently increase your click through rate. Are you always going to beat your current champion ad, which means the best performing ad? Absolutely not. But you're going to incrementally grow and get a higher and higher and higher click through rate. And this is going to lead to a higher quality score. And you're going to have a lot more leads inside your account because of it, because you're getting a lower cost per click due to that quality score, your account is going to see so much more success. So please A-B test these ads. It's super important. We do this 
I think everyone should do this. It's super important. Please don't miss this opportunity to really advance your account and put yourself above the competition. 99.9% .9 of accounts will not AB test their ads at all. Uh, it's a real shame and it's a real loss opportunity for people who don't. So if you are willing to take the time to actually do this, normally, again, you're going to be doing this on probably every two weeks inside your account once you get enough data into these ads and then pause the loser, double down on the winner and try to beat it. Now, the second way to increase your click through rates, and this is super, super simple, but people will not do this. And that is to simply have all of the ads possible in your ad group. A lot of people will put one ad inside their ad group. You can have three. Why people choose one is primarily due to laziness and they just don't want to actually add all of these ads because you need 15 out of 15 headlines and four out of four descriptions. Now, if you don't feel like building out all these headlines and descriptions because you're lazy, like me, we have actually built out a tool for you. It's called the Google Ads Done For You Bundle. You can literally copy and paste these headlines in case you don't want to build out all of these headlines. That way you have absolutely no excuse for not creating three ads. Now, if you don't want to use this bundle and you want to create your own ads, we actually have a brand new video on that on how to actually write persuasive, interesting headlines that people will click on. I'll link it up above. It's a great video. It's very in depth on how to actually make sure people click on your ads. Now, why do we actually want three ads in our ad group and 15 out of 15 headlines and four to four descriptions? Essentially, Google's AI as of recent is doing a very, very good job on A-B testing all of your ads. You don't actually have to go in as often as you used to and figure out which headlines are the best and which descriptions are the best. Google does this automatically with responsive search ads. So essentially, it just keeps testing headlines till it finds a winning combination for you. And essentially, the more headlines we give Google's AI, the more likely we are to find a winning ad because Google's AI is going to have more data to test with. If we don't give Google's AI enough data, it's not going to have all this content to actually test with, and it's going to try its best to figure out which headlines are working. But if you only give it three headlines, it can only do so much to improve it. So please make sure you fill out 15 out of 15 headlines, four to four descriptions, and you have three ads in your ad group. This will make a world of difference and will put you light years above your competition. I see so many people and so many accounts, they'll have three headlines and one ad. It boggles my mind. Even people who watch my videos, they will not take the time to do this. And really, if you are willing to take this time to do it, even if you get the done for you bundle, you're going to be light years ahead of your competition just because you gave Google's AI that extra content to test with. And it's going to give you such a better chance of beating your competition when it comes to click through rate. And again, click through rate, super, super important on getting a higher quality score so you can get a lower cost per click so you can get more leads and more account success. So please make sure all the stuff is filled out properly. It will benefit you so much in the long run. Now, the final thing that really impacts click through rate is the extensions. And these are often overlooked. I see almost no one ever actually AB testing any of these extensions. And really what you want to do is find your most relevant extensions. You don't need to add every single extension, but you should add extensions that are the most relevant that will make your ad as big as possible. Because if we make a big ad, it's more likely to be seen and it's more likely to be clicked on. This gives us a higher click through rate. This gives us a higher quality score, lower cost per lead, more leads, more account success. You get the idea. So we want to get as many relevant extensions into our account as possible. And this could be called extensions, site link extensions, location extensions, call extensions, whatever it is, we want to add as many relevant extensions as possible. We want our ad as big as possible. This is something super important. We cannot overlook this. I know again, it's super basic, but people will just not take the time to actually fill in as many extensions as they actually need. They'll put one site link extension, they'll put one call out extension, and they go, well, I don't know why my click through rate sucks. And it's like, well, you should have put like 10 site link extensions. So Google it can AB test this. And then once you figure out which ones are the winners, which ones are losers, pause the losers, add more. That's what you got to do to really stand above the competition and get amazing results out of Google ads and really start getting more clicks and an even higher click through rate. Now, like I did say at the beginning, of the video. If you are interested in learning how to write extremely persuasive ads, I just did a video on that. It will walk you through how to identify the customer's problem, give them reasons to buy, and then leave them with a call to action on what you want them to do. This is really the best way we find to create ads. And that video is a very detailed video on how to do all of that. It gives you a whole bunch of examples on how to actually write these ads. It's an awesome video. So if you are interested in creating your own ads, check that video out. Also, make sure to optimize your account. Check out our Google Ads optimization checklist. Optimizing your account is super important. And this checklist will walk you through everything you need to do on a weekly, monthly and three month basis. It also lets you drop down all of your results so you can see that your account performance is increasing and making sure that you're actually A-B testing all this stuff and going into the checklist and checking off that. Yes, I did A-B test my ads today. Yes, I did A-B test the extensions. Yes, I did add a new ad and there are three ads in the actual ad group. 
these things are important and most people will overlook them. So please you have some sort of checklist, even if you're not going to get this one. But if you do want this one, the link for that is down below. It's super awesome. I really do like it. Now, I do have one massive favor to ask you at the end of this video, and that is to leave a like. I put so much time and effort into these videos, and if you could give the video a like, I would really, really appreciate it. It allows our channel to grow at a crazy rate thanks to you guys liking it. Uh, it's unreal the actual community support I'm receiving off these videos, and I really do prefer making these higher quality videos compared to my older videos, which I really didn't like as much to make. They were quicker to produce, but these videos, I like the more engaging content that I'm producing now, and I, I think this is just a better way to go with the channel. So if you did like this video please consider giving the video a like thanks in advance if you do uh if you have any comments questions or concerns leave a comment down below i will do my best to answer it other than that you guys have a wonderful day take care i wish you well and i'm out